Aha, this is Laborts, and it is so nice to have you here. Before I show you the paint list, I made a PDF guide for the zombie version of the character. If you are interested in that, head over to Patreon, the link is in the video description. These are the paints you'll need. First, I applied dark sea blue to the surface. You are going to see later in the tutorial that I had a bit of a problem finding the balance for the midtone, so trying to aim for a little bit smaller highlights. I wanted to go for a bluish venom look. If you want to go all desaturated black for him, then uh, go for it, but this time we will have a blue one, okay? Okay. Now the pose of the miniature is a little bit hunched, so we are not going to need too much volume on the chest and the abs. The more focused areas are the thighs, shoulders, arms and head. Previously I applied a coat of matte varnish to make the sketching phase easier. Every time I paint black, I usually do that because it helps me see the highlighted areas more. If your primer has a satin finish like uh, mine, it's easy to mix up surfaces that are wet from the paint and surfaces that are shiny from the primer, since wet paint and uh, shiny satin look uh, tends to look very similar. If your primer has a matte finish, then you don't need to do that of course. Also remember, to have something to read as black, you need at least half of the surface black. For my blue hue, I added some techless blue to the dark sea blue and reduced the highlight areas. This is all about following the shape of the muscles. If you have trouble highlighting these shapes, just try to break them down into more simple shapes. For example, the head. The head has a lot of different shapes, but if we break it into sections, we have the forehead on the top, okay? That's basically a sphere. So we need to highlight it as we would like a ball with a smaller elliptic uh, or a circle shaped highlight. The wrinkles between the eyes are two little cylinders bumped to each other, so we pick out the top part of them with a horizontal line. The shoulders are mostly spherical shapes again and the bicep is a cylinder. Same goes for the muscles on the forearms. If you do these little breakdown routines in your head, highlighting would become a fun task for your brain and you wouldn't be lost in the forest of highlights like uh, Granny get lost in the parking lot because she can't remember where she parked. If you watched some of Papa Laborts' tutorials, then you can remember that I said this a couple of times. If something feels a little bit off, it probably is. So remember that. You see our Venom character is turning blue, but it's not really working. It's too desaturated, but at this point I thought, go ahead Papa Laborts, you know, just trust the process. It will look okay after the next two layers of highlight. Well guys. You can jump ahead in the video, but let me tell you, it won't work. Because Papa Labors didn't listen to his own advice. So I'm trying to glaze back some shadows with Darkseid Blue. That was a good idea by the way, but unfortunately, this is not going to help me with the overall look I was after. Now I desperately tried to add more blue to it, because if the shadows didn't help, then adding more saturated blue will definitely do. Yeah well. If you want to paint a completely blue venom, that might work, but I still did not realize the root of the problem yet. Oh yeah, another thing I used to say a lot. Take a break guys every now and then. The best thing that could happen to your mini is to paint it into the evening and then come back the next day to it with a fresh pair of eyes. It's going to make a huge difference and you are going to spot so much more mistakes that you can fix. Of course I didn't take any breaks whatsoever, so I was getting myself deeper and deeper into this desaturated blue halo.
So I kept pushing the contrast and went higher in value for the blues and miraculously it fixed all my mistakes and the miniature became awesome. Not because I kept blending and highlighting with some thin layers of paint and hoping for the best. In the process, I got very frustrated because the more time I spent on the mini, the worse it looked and I still didn't get why. But I'm pretty sure most of you guessed it by now. My last desperate idea is to make this little glint effects on the mini so maybe the surrounding highlights appear to be darker and finally that's when I realized what's the problem. Remember at the beginning of the video I said leave at least 50% of the surface black. I was aiming to have a blue venom and I painted the whole thing as if it's blue. But the truth is venom most of the time is black with the bluish hue. And that is a huge difference. I mean it's not true for all the versions of Venom because if you are a person of acquired taste then you know that the best representation of Venom was in the 1999 PlayStation game. I smell bad symbiote. But mainly he's black with blue highlights and that's not the same as uh, blue with blue highlights, okay? Not a very satisfying answer I know but as soon as I realized this it all started to make sense. So I went back with thin layers of black and reduced those highlight areas. Take note guys, when you come to a moment with your painting that you want to give up or start over because I was very close to it, always try to fix it first. As with the highlights, we break down the shapes to know how to highlight them. When we come to a faulty paint job, we need to know why it doesn't look like the thing that we wanted it to be. If you didn't understand what you did wrong, you are more likely to make the same mistake and if you end up numerous times with the same problem, that can be extremely frustrating and discouraging for you to keep pushing yourself at painting. Now I wanted to blend in the black shadows with the blue highlights with tackless blue. As I saw the mini started to look better. Uh, to do that, I thinned down the paint to a glaze consistency and made the transition smooth like Granny's butt cheek. With that step, I lost most of my dark sea blue shadows, so I went back and reintroduced them between the black and the techless blue layer. Where I felt that the transition is a bit too rough, I used the glazing to blend in the layers. With a mix of low turn blue and ice yellow, I painted the maximum value highlights on the skin. Less is more here, so I moderately applied these little dots and lines following the highlights of the muscles. I focused these around the upper torso to keep the focal point on the head. For the white parts of the suit, I used neutral grey. Painting this layer really made the suit stand out more and it really started to look like the bluish venom I was aiming for. Remember when you are painting a certain part of the mini and everything else is black around the painted parts? It's a bit hard to tell if the values and hues are working because of the relative contrast created by the black and the other painted surfaces. On the shadowy sides of the character I mix some dark sea blue to the neutral grey to shade those areas and make them a bit muted. After that I use light grey to highlight the spider symbol, focusing the values on the top half of the symbol. On the web shooters I left the middle section darker and painted the edges of the square shapes to make them more defined. the contrast I painted the edges and the top part of the simple with white grey. For the tongue I used screamer pink for the whole surface. I highlighted it with Emperor's Children leaving the recess in the middle tag. Mix 
Take some Icelo to the Emperor's children and made some tiny steppers on the side of the tank to add some texture to the surface. After that I covered the teeth with Talarn sand. This layer will be used for the shadows so don't worry uh, Venom didn't end up uh, with some uh, chain smoker teeth. Granny's teeth does look like that though and uh, she's still smoking 4 packs a day. To highlight the feet, I used the Morgas bone and left some of the previous Talarn sand layer on the left side. The painting of the base and the OSL effect is Patreon exclusive. If you like to access to that content, you can find the link in the video description. With that, Venom is done and ready for the table. A huge thanks to my Patreons who support these kind of videos, with special shout out to Jonathan Rhodes, Cold Blooded Dom, Trying to Paint Minis, Jonathan Mosner, One Sharp Joe Crafts, Glitchy Macrash, Guillaume Belanger. I hope the rest of your day will be as smooth as a granny's butt cheek.